Hi, this is Bob from the Beancast. This is Peter from Shagman.com. And it's time for the two minute rundown for Monday, March 26th, 2012. The timer is running. Let's get started. Uh, Apple, uh, hell has frozen over. Apple is paying dividends. This is a big deal. And it, it's going to solidify <clears throat> their relationship with stockholders. What's it going to do for marketing, though? Is it going to improve their stature? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's what's, what, I, what I like about it is it shows the new CEO is not afraid to go, not against Steve Jobs, but to make his own way. Right. You know, and, and the market has shown, hey, we like when you do that. I personally, I'm a stockholder. I love when they do that. And, so and, I'm very happy with that. It's not going to hurt marketing. It's only going to help them. It's showing him, you know, we're still going to stick core, true to the core of what Apple products are. They're great products. But we're not afraid to make some differences without Steve Jobs. You know what's interesting too that it's coming right on the heels of the uh, the new iPad release, mm -hmm. which is which is interesting in and of itself because he broke from a lot of marketing traditions on the yep. device market in the yep. sense that he's not calling it a three, not calling it Correct. HD, calling it something that is more in line with what they do with the MacBook yep. Pros. Very true. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. It does chart a new course. Now, of course, charitable giving, charitable giving's been on decline during the recession. Now, over the past couple of years, it's been on the uptick, mm -hmm. and it continues. The rebound. Will we see charitable giving continue to uh, increase and, and get stronger over I, the next? I think so. As, as the market continues, you know, I don't think it's going to be a massive shift. But as we start to see the markets get better and we start to see the Dow over thirteen thousand, and people really start to say, okay, maybe the worst is behind us. You know, we're still looking at a lot of foreclosures out there. A lot of people are still in trouble. But we're starting to see the the. Even if not the baseline it was seven, eight, nine years ago, we're starting to see people say, okay, you know what? I can give 25 bucks here. I can give 100 what I'm, bucks. What I'm interested to see and understand is whether or not the charitable giving is going up because rich people have a lot more money to give or whether or not this is going across the board. I think it's going across the board. I wouldn't be surprised if it's going across the board. Rich people tend to tend to be uh, stingy no matter what, uh, how the, <laughs> no matter how the economy is doing, so I've heard. And Hunger Games. Hunger Games are a real big deal. Um, it has been a marketing effort for the past mm -hmm. year, and now suddenly it's it's opened up to rave reviews. Views and Every, big I mean, it's, box it has, office, and one of those things that wins now. That you know, it had great, great review, uh, great reviews, plus a great uh, pre pre screen buzz, and now it's actually doing really well at the box office. So well, it's a win awesome, all awesome. Well, with that sound, we are out of time. time. I'm Bob Norp. I'm Peter Shankman. Tune in tomorrow for another two minute rundown. <laughs>